we have a lead code problem uh, house robber and you are a professional robber planning to rob houses along the street each house has a certain amount of money stashed the money is given by the array the values in the array is uh, the amount of money associated with each house like you can see in example the input one two three uh, one that means uh, one rupee is in first house two rupees are in second house third house three and last one is one so what we have to do is we have to rob each house such that adjacent houses have security system connected and it will automatically contact the police if two adjacent houses were broken into the same night so you can't uh, visit or you can't uh, rob two houses two adjacent houses and you have to collect the maximum amount of money so it's also one of the interview problems asked by google so uh, let us see the examples the first one is one two three one and the output is four so explanation is also given there rob house one so you get one rupee and then rob house three so one plus three is four so the maximum amount of money that you can rob is four and let us see example two input string two seven nine three one and the output is 12 that is the explanation first rob the first house then leave the adjacent the third one and leave the adjacent the last one so the output is 12 so how to do it on reading the example 1 and example 2 you might think that uh, we can do sum of values at odd indexes and the sum of values at even index indexes and whichever is the highest will be the output so i want to tell you one thing and if you think that you can do uh, this question in that way consider this case suppose if the array contains these four elements you calculate the sum at even indexes you will get 2 plus 0 2 and if you consider the sum at odd indexes you will get 2 but the answer will be 2 plus 2 4 how you rob the first house you leave the second you leave the third and then you uh, rob the fourth one this is absolutely right until the time you are not robbing to adjacent house the it is correct so the output will be 4 but if you uh, take some of odd indexes and even indexes and take the maximum of it you will get the wrong answer and boom you are trapped in the problem so it's a classical db problem and you have to solve it in that way only so let's jump on to the code and tell you how to do it okay so let's start with the coding so first of all if the length is zero you can't return anything return zero if so if there is only one house so what will be the maximum uh, money that you can rob is so zero only the first element and if if suppose now you have to think that if there are only two houses then what will be the maximum money that you can rob it will be maximum of the two houses mad dot max of slash now think of uh, the case when there are three houses either you can rob one and third or the second one so consider it in a more general way so that you can find 
the maximum amount of money uh, on any number of houses so how can we do it we will take an array so we have taken an array dp and the array the answer to the problem will be the last index of the dp array in dp array we will store the maximum amount of money that we can loot after each house i mean at uh, what dp of zero will state that the maximum amount that you can rob after uh, robbing the first house in dp1 the second element of dp array will represent the maximum amount of money that you can rob after uh, robbing two houses then after three then after n so you have to think of the nth case so what we will do in dp0 means dp1 what is the maximum stuff that you can loot after robbing the second house is math. then for from the third house plus plus now here here we have to apply some kind of formula that will consider the n cases like we we have considered uh, the uh, only one house only two house so now if they say there is n house so what will be the maximum amount and kind of have to use a formula test either it will be the maximum from either dp of i minus 1 or it will be dp i minus 2 plus the current house is money oh, and since it is the nth case we are doing it for nth case so the last element of the dp will be the solution so return dp nums dot n minus one it's the last element will it will return the last value so this looks kind of okay and now if you consider the case that I was talking about whether it will give the correct solution or not so let's dry run this code once for this test case okay so uh, after robbing the first house what's the maximum amount of money that we can get is 2 so the first element of dp will be 2 that's written over here dp of 0 is nums of 0 okay so after uh, robbing second house the maximum of first and second so maximum of 2 and 0 is 2 okay so now from the third one consider this formula written here so dp of i that means we are looking for dp of second actually the third element dp is maximum of maximum of dp of one no no dp of zero plus second so dp of 1 here is 2 and dp of 0 plus nums of 2 dp of 0 is 2 and nums 2 is 0 so in both the cases the value is 2 2 maximum will be 2 so third element will be 2 and now the fourth element that is the third index so according to this formula i is equals to 3 so change it 3 make it 2 1 
exactly so dp of third will be maximum of dp of 2 dp of 2 is 2 and dp of 1 plus nums of 3 dp of 1 dp of 1 is 2 and nums at 3 is 2 so 2 plus 2 is 4 uh, maximum will be 4 so here we will return the last element of the dp that is 4 so the output will be 4 it looks correct so this kind of solution we uh, do it is known as the bottom up, bottom up processing since you are using the previous cases for building up the solution of a bigger bigger problem hence it is known as bottom up processing you are using the bottom test cases to run the higher order ones so let's run this code boom success so that was it see you in the next